air around us. Learning about air and its uses. We all know that all living things require air. But have you ever seen air? You might not have seen air, but surely you must have felt its presence in so many ways. You notice it when the leaves of the trees rustle or the clothes hanging on a clothes line sway. Pages of an open book begin fluttering when the fan is switched on. The moving air makes it possible for you to fly your kite. Sometimes during storms, the wind blows at a very high speed and it even uproot trees and blow off the rooftops. Have you seen a weathercock? It shows the direction in which the air is moving at that place. Air present everywhere around us. To prove that air is present everywhere around us, let us perform a small activity. Activity Take an empty glass bottle. Dip the open mouth of the bottle into the transparent container filled with water. Observe the bottle. When we turned it upside down, that is why we noticed that water did not enter the bottle when it was in an inverted position. Tilt the bottle slightly. When the bottle was tilted, the air was able to come out in the form of bubbles and water filled up the empty space that the air has occupied. This activity shows that air occupies space. It fills all the space in the bottle. It is present everywhere around us. Air has no color and one can see through it. It is transparent. Our earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air. This layer extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth and is called atmosphere. Mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them while climbing high mountains because as they go high up in the mountains, the oxygen level in the air reduces. What is air made up of? Air is a mixture of many gases. It is mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor and dust and smoke. Water vapor We all know that air contains water vapor. Let us perform a small activity and see. Fill a glass with ice cold water. Droplet of water can be observed on the outer surface of the glass after some times. This is water present in air. Air has water vapor. When it comes in contact with a cold surface, the water vapor condenses to form water. The presence of water vapor in air is important for the water cycle in nature. Oxygen Oxygen is essential for burning. Let us perform a small activity. Activity Fix two small candles of the same size in the middle of two hollow containers. Now, fill the containers with some water. Light the candles and then cover each one of them with an inverted glass. One much taller than the other. Observe carefully what happens to the burning candles and water level. Burning can occur only in the presence of oxygen. We see that one component of air is oxygen. Oxygen component inside each glass in our experiment is limited. When most of this oxygen is used up by burning the candle, it can no longer burn and blows out. Also. 
some of the space occupied by the oxygen inside the glass becomes empty and water rises up to fill and occupy this space nitrogen the remaining air inside the glass contains some components like nitrogen which does not support burning carbon dioxide in a closed room if there is some material that is burning we feel suffocated this is due to excess of carbon dioxide that is accumulating in the room as the burning continues plants and animals consume oxygen for respiration and produce carbon dioxide plant and animal matter on burning also consumes oxygen and produces mainly carbon dioxide and few other gases dust and smoke the burning of fuel also produces smoke smoke contains a few gases and fine dust particles and is often harmful that is why you see long chimneys in factories this takes the harmful smoke and gases away from our noses but brings it closer to the birds flying up in the sky dust particles are always present in air activity find a sunny room in your school or home close all the doors and windows with curtains pulled down to make the room dark now open the door or a window facing the sun just a little in such a way that it allows sunlight to enter the room only through a slit look carefully at the incoming beam of sunlight air contains mostly nitrogen and oxygen in fact these two gases together make up 99% of air the remaining 1% is constituted by carbon dioxide and a few other gases water vapor and dust particles how does oxygen become available to animals and plants living in water and soil let us perform a small activity activity take some water in a vessel and heat it slowly on a tripod stand well before the water begins to boil let us carefully observe the inner surface of the vessel we see tiny bubbles inside these bubbles come from the air dissolved in water when we heat the water to begin with the air dissolved in it escapes as we continue heating the water itself turns into vapor and finally begins to boil we have learned that the animals living in water use the dissolved oxygen in water the organisms that live in soil also need oxygen to respire let us see how they get the air they need for respiration with the help of small activity activity take a lump of dry soil in a beaker add water to it and note what happens when the water is poured on the lump of soil it displays the air which is seen in the form of bubbles a lot of burrows and holes are formed in deep soil by the animals living in the soil these burrows also make spaces available for air to move in and out of the soil however when it rains heavily water fills up 
all the spaces occupied by the air in the soil. In this situation, animals living in the soil have to come out for respiration. How is the oxygen in the atmosphere replaced? Photosynthesis plays important role in replacing oxygen in the atmosphere. In this process, plants make their own food and oxygen is produced along with it. Plants also consume oxygen for respiration, but they produce more of it than they consume. That is why we say plants produce oxygen. Plants and animals depend on each other for exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide from air. We can see that both need each other. As the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is thus maintained. This shows the interdependence of plants and animals. A windmill. The wind makes the windmill rotate. The windmill is used to draw water from tube wells and to run floor mill. Windmills are also used to generate electricity. Air helps in the movements of sailing yachts, gliders, parachutes, and aeroplanes. Birds, bats, and insects can fly due to the presence of air. Air also helps in dispersal of seeds and pollens of flowers of several plants. Air plays an important role in water cycle. Summary Air is found everywhere. We cannot see air but we can feel it. Air in motion is called wind. Air occupies space. Air is present in water and soil. Air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor and few other gases. Some dust particles may also be present in it. Oxygen supports burning and is necessary for living organisms. The envelope of air that surrounds the earth is known as atmosphere. That is all in this lesson. Keep atmosphere clean and green.